All right, so you wanna know everything about living in Redmond, Washington? Well, in this video, we are in the heart of it and we're going to do a full city tour of Redmond, Washington. So stay tuned. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Jackson Ray Wilkie. And Jesse Ray Dow. And we are the Real Agent Now group right here in Seattle, Washington. If you are new to this channel, you wanna know everything about working, eating, sleeping, playing, and living in Seattle, Washington, then start now by subscribing to this channel and tap that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And we are working with clients from all around the world who are calling us and relocating to Seattle, Washington, and we absolutely love it. Honestly, people, if you're even thinking of moving or relocating to the Seattle area anywhere, make sure you give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send us the Seahawk, baby. However you want to get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Seattle, Washington. Okay, so this is kind of the newer part of Redmond. It's called Redmond Square. You're gonna find all of your shops, restaurants, bars, and a newer age look. There's condos. Uh, you can kind of see them over there. Big, tall buildings, so you can live really close to here. Uh, and this is where you're gonna see a lot of the younger folk, as well as, you know, older people as well. They're in these parks. It's a huge greenway uh, just right over here. There's a lot of people out reading books. It's an incredibly beautiful fall day. That's what you see here in the Pacific Northwest, especially Seattle. Um, you're gonna have days of rain, of course, but you get these beautiful, beautiful days where, you know, the leaves have fallen off. But what you notice about these areas, you know, is there's, it's very active, and you're gonna you're gonna realize that a lot in Seattle. Um, there's tons of people out walking. You're gonna find families, kids. Uh, it's super safe. These are really fun areas. Sorry if that sun's in your eye, but yeah, you can spend tons of time. You have these little scooters over here, so you can go and rent those with an app on your phone and uh, take them around and leave them when you're done. But you're gonna see a lot of walking, a lot of bike riding. These paths, they go all over this area and you know anywhere in Seattle, really. Redmond does an incredible job with paths like these where you can get all over the place really quickly. Calvin's wanting to cruise. All right, let's go to the Old Town Redmond just right down the road here and show them that. Let's go. All right, Mr. J. Dow. Tell us the vibe, tell us how it feels to be right here in Redmond. Yeah, so right here in downtown Redmond, it's very uh, kind of old town feel, mixed in with a lot of new age uh, living. I love it because it's absolutely walkable. Everything you want to go to, whether you want to get your hair cut, go out to bars, restaurants, entertainment, dine out with the family, go hit up an Orange Theory fitness class. It's all right here within a couple blocks of walking, which I absolutely love. What I see a lot around here is a lot of people like rent those little lime scooters and cruise around the area. It's just super, super friendly. We're living so close to downtown Seattle, yet you're a little bit removed in a little bit of a suburb feel. You know, the house prices range anywhere from, uh, you know, a really, really small studio condo in the upper 400s you know, a two bedroom condo up into the 750 to 800s working their way up. And then detached single family homes starting in the 850 range and working their way up from there. But it's just an absolutely very friendly place to love and I absolutely love it. No, I live Woodenville. I've been up there for 44 years. Oh really? What's the big changes you've seen around here? Homes. A lot of homes? Yeah, used to be all forest. Around here? Yeah, well, especially up to the north here. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah. You still love living around here? I do. It's a wonderful area. Good for family, good for retirees, good for everybody. And that's me. That's you. Family, <laughs> retiree, and everybody. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I'm Jackson, by the way. Hi, Jackson. I'm Greg. Greg? Good to meet you, man. You as well. Just hanging out at Palmer's here. Oh, they have the best breakfast in town. Can't beat that. Yeah. Best breakfast in town. You hear that? Well, we got to see it. Yeah, so right here you got a couple different Mexican restaurants, whatever you like. There's Palmer's Bar, considered the best breakfast right here in Redmond, but this is a cool little funky area. And then that really nice new area is literally just a couple blocks that way and this way. So literally all around here is now you're going to see a bunch of new development. Uh, those There's great living super close to these areas. And again, you're not going to have to really drive anywhere, especially if you work right around here. Right here. 
as you can see there, you know, you have the Old Town Redmond, uh, and then you turn here and everything is brand new and nice. There's a lot of living up above and then all the shops and everything are down below. Super, super walkable. There's people everywhere out walking today, riding bikes. So that's what you see in Redmond. Now we're, we're north of Lake Sammamish and any of these areas, basically in the Northwest and Seattle, super, super active, lots of walking, hiking, dog walking, parks, everything you need. Now the one thing I love about Redmond is you have that downtown feeling and the newer construction, but look at this. I mean, everywhere around here is still beautiful trees. There's mountains, there's a ton of water around here. And you talk about fall time in the Northwest. I mean, this is a prime example. The leaves are falling. It is so gorgeous around here with all the trees and nature and hiking trails. This is an incredible place to live. but this is the next spot we had to take you. If you think of Redmond, Washington, you think of the beauty, the nature, the trees, but this is what, you know, we talked to that guy just a little bit ago. He's lived here his whole life. He's seen a lot of changes, but he absolutely loves it still. So even at an older age, retired age, but he raised his family here. This is what Redmond's all about. This is one of the top areas, top schools, safety, and you have these parks. Today we are in Marymore Park. There is so much to do here. It's a little cold, it's the end of October right now, but yes, this place will be absolutely filled with people. You got the soccer fields, you got lacrosse fields, you have the Lake Sammamish. You know, we're literally on the north end of the lake and there is a trail here, the Sammamish River Trail, and it's gonna take you north from where we're at all the way up until you hit the Burke Gilman Trail, which will take you to downtown Seattle. Yes, you can walk an entire route all via trails from here to downtown Seattle. And that is why Redmond is absolutely one of the top places to live in Seattle, Washington. Now, like Jesse said, I mean, obviously there's a lot of detached homes. There's condo living, there's lake living. You know, just to the south of us at the other end of the lake is Issaquah. We have Bellevue is on the west side of the lake. And you have actually Sammamish on the east side of the lake. Any of these areas, especially close to the water, you're gonna be in very, very nice neighborhoods. So safety, good schools, and this is no exception at all. So. Come on, Calvin Ray. And it's an exceptional place for your pets. But we could literally be here all day doing a video on how special Redmond is. But that is Jesse and I's job and the team here. If you are even thinking about moving or relocating to Seattle, Washington or Redmond, you've got to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, or even send the Seahawk, baby. However you wanna get a hold of us, we got your back when moving to Seattle, Washington. And if you are new to this channel, you wanna know everything about the entire Seattle area, make sure you tap that subscribe button and click that little bell so you're notified every time we do a new video. And until that next video, we'll catch you later.